Thank you, Jay. What if we could take bacteria or living organisms and grow furniture and automobiles from it? Imagine the abundance in this world. And did you know that you can actually print and come out with a 3D object these days? Well, we're gonna talk to Autodesk in San Francisco that creates the design behind all of this innovation. Let's go check it out. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to Windows. Thank you so much for having me today. Of course. You know, it's so great to be here at Autodesk, and I just love walking around. I feel like a kid in an innovation candy store, literally. So let's just start right off by talking about your background. Tell me a little bit about how you got into this and what do you do? So my role at the company is the chief technology officer. So what I do is I look at the supply of technical innovation that's going on and really exploding outside in the world and help identify how that's going to impact design in the future. I feel very fortunate to be part of a company that is really powering that type of process. I think what everyone, our viewers, are going to appreciate is the 3D printer. Yeah. So tell us about that and how you see it being used in the future going forward and how are they using it now? You know, I think one of the things that's really interesting about the design process in general is that most of us are the receivers of design that's been done by somebody else. 3D printing is going to change that pretty dramatically because for the first time we'll have the power as just ordinary people to create things, um, you know, literally that we made ourselves. So if you had that experience when you were a kid of putting together Legos or the Erector set or the Tinker Toys or modeling with clay or drawing something, now you have the capability to do that at an even more complex level um, and make even more sort of amazing things. So one of the things that's most interesting about 3D printing is that, number one, it can print incredibly complicated objects just as easily as a blob of material. The printer just doesn't care. But what's even more remarkable is that these objects, when they come out of the printer, will already work. There's no assembly required. These things just function right out of the box, so to speak. Once they're completed in software, just as you today go file print and expect a page to come out of your inkjet printer or laser writer, in a 3D printer, they come out ready to go. I know that Autodesk has a relationship with Hollywood. Tell us more about that process and how you, what you guys do with 3D animation, right? Right. Exactly. We work very closely with Hollywood and for, we provide them the tools for everything from video editing and video finishing to character creation. James Cameron uses our tools to create nine foot tall blue people on a planet full of, of floating mountains. That storytelling, that transportation into how the world could be, a real world or an imaginary world, those are the tools that we bring to designers everywhere. In your career, um, what have you seen that has just blown you away, where you didn't expect this to happen, where you were like, wow, this is why I'm doing this, this is amazing. What I didn't expect to happen quite so early, but I'm glad is happening now, is we can take that same design focus and, in fact, some of the same design tools and apply them to the living world as well. These are models of bacteria that have been grown into specific structural shapes that have specific functional properties. Like for example, this one will only bend in this direction. This one has flexibility only in certain spots. This one, we instructed the bacteria to collectively make a table. If we can instruct bacteria to participate together to literally deposit calcium in this case in certain areas to make hard surfaces versus flexible surfaces, we may be able to grow larger and larger structures in the future. Okay, so before we wrap up here, um, for parents out there that want to inspire their kids into a career in innovation and design, yeah. how should they prepare and what advice do you have for them? There's no substitute for doing. So if you have an idea, get it out there and make it and then make another one, and then make another one, and then make another one. I think that's a, that iterative process is hugely important. I was taught this phrase that I think is really valuable. Propose as if you are right. Listen as if you were wrong. And I think that's a really great guide. Yeah. And I would, as a parent myself, it's what I hope my children learn to adopt. Wow. That was a good note to end on. Some yeah. good advice to our viewers. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. We had so much fun with you at the Autodesk Gallery. And for all you parents out there, I strongly suggest you take your kids on a tour 
exposing them to all of this innovation and technology can only lead to expanding their minds. And speaking of minds, innovator Naveen Jain gives us his inspirational tip of the week.